Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Asim here, and I, it has been quite some time since I uploaded the last video. And a new thing, uh, I got this T-shirt, Hacking Simplified. So it is from one of my students. So like uh, for the past one month, I have been teaching to a few people, like a very small group of people, like five six people. So. Uh, one of those gave me a mug last time you would have seen on the LinkedIn post, and this got this came recently. There's a hoodie also, so thanks to that guy. So yeah, that's that. Now let's come back to this. So last time where we left off was we installed Kali Linux on WSL2. In this episode, uh, we are gonna install the recon script. So I struggled a lot to uh, like record it properly on Windows. So uh, after like two three days of struggle, I finally like I finally got a screen capture, proper screen capture that doesn't have a voiceover. So I would be playing a video, and I tried to do a live, but it was getting hung up. So the screen recording wasn't done properly, or it was a bit jittery there. So I thought well, I could only record it and then do a voiceover for that. So that's that. So I would be displaying a video, and like while it's getting installed, I would be also explaining through the script like what's actually getting installed on your Kali WSL. So let's start with the video. So this is the script link, the wget hyphen o and the script part. So that's the script that I have already been like using and already posted a few times on my Twitter as well. So it is setup bug bounty dot sh, and basically this this is the command that's being run on the video that we have seen here. So yeah, um, let's start with the video. So first, it w gets it, so that downloads the script onto your local like Kali machine, and all these commands need to be run through a root user. So do a sudo su before like doing anything else, and then only run these commands so that all these get installed with the proper permissions. So yeah, so the very first thing that it does is it does apt update and apt upgrade. So it takes a lot of time and here I have like cut the video, edited that part, but it takes a lot of time. Like it, it feels like it has got stuck on like the first second dead thing, but have patience, like wait for 20, 25 minutes, it would go through because it's doing in the quiet mode. So you might not see the locks in the initial command. So that's why it might feel that it's got stuck. But bear with it, it would like it would work fine. So let, let me show you the script as is. So first we are like adding the installation start time. Then we are adding some of the colors that's there. The first thing that you could see is that apt update hyphen yq and upgrade hyphen yq. So hyphen y is for hyphen y and q. So these are two options. So y is like do yes, wherever it's asking for. And Q is to do it quietly so that the like menus and all that logs or it would be like in a quiet mode so those won't be like there won't be a lot of logs there won't be a lot of menus and all that. Before that we are also creating a tools folder this the tilde operator is the home directory so this is this would be a root directory because like slash root because you are the root user that's running this. Then we are uh, using python3 we are switching the python 3 as the default python apt install we are installing some of the libraries curl screen git these are all required further then rvm we are using ruby version manager because we need ruby later on then we are doing a pip3 install of rdpy rdpy is remote extra python then we are setting time date to like asia kolkata time zone so this is for india so if you are in another region you could change this apt install hyphen y golang go so the default version of golang is 1.15 if i remember correctly so at the time of recording that's 1.15 so you are like you could easily install it with apt so earlier i had to do curl to get the latest version and since we are already above 1.13 where like 1.13 is where the golang go modules have started so most of these tools they require version 1.13 plus so yeah, like this apt also has that version so we could directly install it from there and these are some of the changes that i have done then we are installing subfinder we are also installing cloud scraper then we are cloning mask dns we are cloning and we are making it 
on our machine itself so that we get the latest of it so from the clone itself we are making that from the git clone and we also doing the same for mars scan so we are getting the latest version of mars genus as well as mars scan then we are downloading ffuf subjack and a lot of other tools like wayback urls and such i haven't added gao here you could easily add that like it's a old script i have changed a very few things so you could do that then i am also installing amas from the like repositories itself so earlier i used to do curl to get that so i have changed that part also and uh, yeah so uh, earlier some of people people complained that it was breaking for them like after installing it wasn't working so the reason i found was that amas had recently updated some of the commands and the the script file that runs behind when you start the recon so that didn't have the like latest option so i have updated that as well so it should work fine for now at least in the foreseeable future it should work fine then i am installing js scan and copying it to the var root html folder so the in the wsl part it might not be very relevant to you but if you would have installed it on a vps you would get a like public url for the js scan thing then this bucket keeper uh, prefalog wafu what web so there are a lot of tools here go hack go docker git leaks are also installed i'm downloading the latest binaries of aquaton so this is particular is for 1.7.0 you could get the like latest binary you could check the latest release and then do that and uh, another change so earlier i used to download chrome uh, chrome linux and then you, using that aquaton you used to run but that wasn't a very stable solution and like people complained even i saw that the screenshots were like faltering there weren't any screenshots there so i found the answer that apt install chromium so you could use the chromium web browser to do that and it works very seamlessly it's like very sweetly it works so i've updated the aquaton.sh script also so if you use this script all the updated script would automatically get installed on your machine you don't have to do anything then there is this uh, word list that i all, i had you might not need this so it has a resolvers.zip so it it's a old list but it i i used to use this then there is this word list also if you want you could delete this because eventually in the bottom i am also downloading the sec list so you could use that as a well. then these are the scripts so the getting the script so these are the basically the scripts of each of these tools like there is this amas script then there is a sub finder script subject script aquaton script and map script mass dns script mass scan script so all these scripts are downloading here so it's another like guest of mine you could it's on like it's public you could see and read those also then uh, after that there's an nmap input file creator and i'm also downloading nmap so the latest version is being cloned and then you are like making it on your machine so you have the latest nmap then there's this wp scan and rvm and all that i am also installing search exploit and also increasing the u limit to like 1 lakh so that ffuf works fine with higher number of threads in the last uh, i'm downloading seclist so yeah and then the installation is complete i'm setting the path variable here the go path and then path also to the dollar home dot profile so that once you like once you enter the shell it automatically gets loaded and then i'm also sourcing it because if you just want to use this without logging out and logging in again so that that should also work so that's why i'm using this source command here so that it basically reloads the profile in bash rc so that go path is all, already in the path so yeah that's that let's come back to this so now uh, you might see that i'm installing uh, like a lot of tools have already installed here you could see in this red uh, there's this red thing and you you need not worry that there's some issue with this you could go with this so there's no issue with that even if you see this red thing coming on then the nmap would get installed if i remember correctly right yeah. now we need to run the recon so we are running recon on my own website asimshred.in i have run a basic thing so there's this two option basic and advanced Uh, the only difference is that 
the nmap flag is the advanced flag is being passed to nmap so for advanced it tries to do the os detection also it takes a lot of time so i usually do the basic and i'm like happy with that so this is the command that you need to run master script uh, dot sh then whatever the domain you want and the basic it would create a root tools directory and in the results folder it would uh, create a mm, domain name and then the timestamp with that so you could see that it has already completed and like results are stored in this particular folder recon is finished if you would have set the exp token you would have also got a push notification if you would have been using my notification app i already made a video about that it's more relevant for a vps and if you are doing a regular scan so you that you could add the token and then you could get notification on your phone itself that okay you are basically your uh, recon or your this scanning has been completed this is a tree of all that so it shows what are the files there now to see the files on the local system you have to do like run two more commands that's very simple so since you are running with the root user so you cannot see the root files on your windows directly so what we are doing is we are copying this particular results to our non root user so this non root user is the user that you created once like at the time you were installing kali so they ask you for the so, so first time you run kali they ask you for the installation instructions and in that they ask you the username and password so this is that so home hs so hs was the username that i gave so i am copying it to the home folder of hs and i also need to take ownership or give ownership to hs so i am running ch own hyphen r hs colon hs so group and like ownership is passed to this hs itself so root is passing the ownership to the non root user now i am exiting the root shell and i am on the hs shell so you could see the id and who am i think now we just need to run explorer.exe dot so explorer.exe would open the explorer window of windows and there you could see the files now you could see the results are here now let me show you the aquatone thing so aquatone results are quite good to look so that's why so this is the html file for that so this is aquatone that tried to get 2096 port which wasn't uh, open on my website so it didn't get anything no screenshots and since it's behind cloudflare so there was 523 error and you could see the details the response address and all that so that's pretty much it it was sleek and i thought that it would be informative yeah so thanks a lot if you like the channel and you like the content that i make make sure to subscribe to the channel press the bell icon share this video with any of any people you feel that they would get benefited out of it thanks a lot everyone